Uh, the first word I would think of was impressive. Ever-changing and tons of opportunities. I describe it as the crown jewel of the cooperative retailing system. Teamwork would be the one word for sure. Uh, challenging, also rewarding. I think about pride, I think about community, uh, and I also think about innovation, and of course I think a lot about people. Prolonged, safe, reliable operation and just everybody doing their best to help everybody else succeed. That's kind of that's how we do it. It's a part of everybody's lives. It's really a story of the prairies of this place, of people who saw a need, came together. It's, it's a remarkable historical piece. I think it's important always to, to remember where you came from and, and always build on what people before you built on. Think about that for a minute. Um, middle of the Great Depression, um, you've got these group of people who frankly know nothing about making fuel, um, but they're going to do it and they're going to gather together friends, they're going to put together the capital they need, they're going to bring in the outside expertise and they're going to build a 500 barrel a day skimming plant. Phenomenal vision, but, but also just incredible perseverance. 80 years later, we're still fueling Saskatchewan farms and now we're fueling Western Canada. I don't think people realize how far the refinery can impact Western Canada. We have almost 500 retail gas stations and card lock operations. You know, step back from that for a second and think about what Western Canada looks like if they're not there. You see co-op signs everywhere. Sometimes when you go into a small town, you don't see anything but a co-op sign. And if it wasn't for those C stores and bulk stations, some of these communities wouldn't even exist. I know we produce some of the best diesel around for farmers out there too. We're cutting edge with a lot of the stuff that we do here, so you get to kind of stick your chest out and, and say we're part of something big. We often sometimes, I think, underestimate um, what we've been able to accomplish in those 80 years. Co-op in the community will continue to do what we've always done. Invest in people, give back to the community. It's a pretty neat feeling to work for an organization that over the last 10 years has spent $4.4 billion back in, in the pockets of our retails. And those retails have in turn turned around and given almost $4 billion back into the pockets of members all across the West. The company has the ability um, to make change. We've played a role, whether it's um, supporting the United Way charities, being involved with Coats for Kids, contributing to the Regina Firefighters Burn Unit. We never would have uh, ever dreamed as big as what the co-op refinery is offering us. It's a long-term relationship. They're not just investing in us one year, they're investing in us for a few years. Uh, when we started to begin discussions with them, it was called a wish list and now we are privileged to consider it a dream list. What makes Camp Circle of Friends very unique is when you're going through treatments, they often live in small communities where they're an outsider because of the disease that they're going through at the time. When they land at Camp Circle of Friends, they're normal. If they're bald, they're normal. If they're missing a limb because of cancer, they're normal. So it's a huge impact that they have just to feel like a normal kid. A lot of our students don't have a lot of supplies at home, so we're able to use some of the funds that the co-op refinery gives us to be able to put books in the hands of kids at home, as well as do programming that helps to educate the parents as well into different ways of using literacy and how literacy works to better their kids. I think it's nice having somebody from the community working with the community members. It's a really important relationship and a connection. We are extremely happy and we hope that there are partners for a really long time to come. Not only does it make you feel like you're doing what's right as a community member, but also it instills pride into your people. We've had lots of exciting challenges and lots of exciting growth. I started when there was only 200 people here. Now there's over a thousand. Really, there's, there's no end in sight to how we can continue to, um, to feed and fuel Western Canada. We have a great asset. We have great people. We have a great cooperative retailing system. Uh, there's every reason for us to be very, very optimistic. We can never forget that we are here to run a safe, reliable and a sustainable operation and we have to do that uh, with excellence and integrity and responsibility. We all are stewards of an organization at a point in history. This is our time to, to look after the asset and position it for, for the next generation to take it. I'm so proud of this organization, I'm so proud of everyone who, who works here because it's their dedication that keeps it moving. It's about leadership, it's about assets and it's about setting that all up so that this place runs very, very safe and very, very reliable year after year, day after day.